Hello and welcome to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Welcome back and if you're new here then obviously welcome and welcome to another episode of the latest in the betas for Plasticity. Now Plasticity 2025.2 still pretty warm out of the oven but there is already a beta update with some exciting new features for Active Studio license holders. Now just before we look at those just a little final public service announcement for anybody who's been thinking about buying plasticity and in particular an indie license so the price for the indie license is going up on the 18th of august this has been confirmed now and that will go from 149 us dollars to 175 so if you wanting to get it cheaper now's the time now the studio license is not going up in price and will remain at 299 us dollars either way it's probably still the most competitively priced cad solution on the market today now as always you can get an extra discount of 10 percent with my code refuge 10 you just need to plug it in at checkout now let's get into the beta features uh that i come out now there's not a bunch but there's a couple of really cool ones the first it's not a big thing but you can drag and drop materials directly from the asset browser into the viewport now so um you know we can do that and there's also a new material which is cathedral tile which is this one here which i guess um is pretty cool so the expert obj now has this new toggle to remove small features i don't think this mesh will um do much with it but um it's there and I have played around with it and it does seem to work on uh, some details. So the next couple of features we're going to look at are a little bit more exciting. So um, sweep has a new option. So if we sweep this around this uh, curve here, we've got this new toggle down here to turn round on, which will round the outside edges, which is really great for, I don't know, creating an air vent, for example okay and then the next one that we want to look at is pretty cool as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a curve here okay and i'm going to mirror that across okay so we've got these fully enveloped uh, sides and then we can just do a radial array on this okay we've got this kind of sunflower design and now we've got f export svg and now over in blender i can just to prove that it works and there we have it we've imported the svg it's coming as curves okay and you can see that there and we can do whatever we like now we can convert that to a mesh okay so i think that final one export svg especially is something that people are going to find really useful and people have been asking for it for a while as well so that's super handy and um, i'll see you guys all in the next one but don't forget the indie license is going up so don't forget to use code refuge 10 if you were going to try and get it before the price goes up see you guys in the next one Tschüss.